The Impact Hammer's secondary fire mode shoots out a shockwave that can cancel out any incoming enemy fire that collides with it. This blast can also push your opponents back if they stand too close, disrupting their aim and movement. But the blast itself won't damage your enemies directly, but if they're not careful they could blow themselves up on the shockwave. The shockwave fires in a cone formation that gets wider as it travels, but it will only last a few moments before fading away. So timing and anticipation are key to protecting yourself with this mechanic. This temporary shield is incredibly effective at blocking slower moving projectiles at medium and long ranges. However, against rapid firing weapons such as Link Gun and Stinger, you'll need to find harder cover fast as the shield offers very limited protection versus faster paced weaponry. Against burst hit scan weapons such as Primary Shock and Sniper Rifle, it's all about the anticipation knowing when your opponent will take their shot, as you will have to fire your shockwave first in order to protect yourself. A method I like to use against burst hit scan is to make myself an easy target, giving the enemy an opportunity he can't refuse. This can make their firing pattern much more predictable, giving you a higher chance of successfully cancelling out their shot. Although this defense mechanic is incredibly strong, you don't want to overly rely on the shield gun function as it will only buy you a short amount of time before your enemy will twig on, so block the shots you need, then reposition as fast as possible to a safer location. 